Hi, sorry I've uh, not been in touch for a while, but as you all know, I've gone back nursing full time. It's my day off today, so I just thought I'd give you um, just some little tips on food. After visiting a well-known supermarket today, it was so busy. Um, there were cleaning trolleys after people had already held them. Um, people were out grabbing food here and there. Um, we, we don't know who's washed their hands and who hadn't. So um, to reduce the risk of us catching the virus, I'm just going to give you some top tips on sort of how you can prepare your food to get home when you get it home. Although there's not been any scientific evidence um, that can contaminate that way, there is um, on the Food Standards Agency saying that it can last on, you know, plastic cardboard, things like that for up to 24 hours. Um, on shiny surfaces um, or hard surfaces or anything like that, it can last up to 72 hours. Um, so here are just some tips just to sort of guide you through um, how to prepare your food and these are the sort of things I've bought today so I'll just talk through them. So when you get your food home, empty it, I mean I've used paper bags, again take your paper bags there and I don't use a trolley, I just put it all in my paper bag um, and then I put it back in the paper bag when I'm going through the till and then I bring my food home. Give my hands a good wash and then obviously some alcohol gel um, to make sure that it's clean. Give your surface that you're going to be using a, a, a good wipe, so we've got we know that it's nice and clean. So I'll go through some um, things. First, of what I bought today. So um, crown pieces, cardboard, plastic. So all I would do is remove it from that, open that up, and then I've got these Ace um, silicone bags that can be stored in the fridge. They stand up, so they're fantastic. And I would pour all them into there and that will either go in the fridge or it will go in my freezer. Just one thing to remember because we, we, we do forget, please just put you, the date that um, you opened it and the date that it's due to expire because you have opened it so that would be classed as your open day. I just use a little bit of tape that you can get and then use a, a, a mark, pen to mark that on. So that's a really, really good tip. And these, uh, you just wash them, you can wash them with soap and water and they're reusable. Just let them dry naturally. Don't use a tea towel, because again, that's a breed for viruses. Just let them dry naturally. I generally just put them on a little jar like that and let them dry, and then you can use them again. So that's the way of doing that. Next thing, things that come in packages like this, generally they're already sealed inside. So I would just open up and store them like that. Once that bag is open again, I can use thing, I can use little bags like this to, to store them in and then that could be thrown in your um, recycling bin. Okay. Obviously you're gonna get yogurts and things like that that you don't really want to be opening. Just use a good antibacterial spray, use some kitchen roll, spray it round, give it a good clean before you put it in your fridge. Okay. And again, keeping his hands clean throughout. So keep putting alcohol gel on. Uh, another great tip, uh, these are my bulk, little bar of things, innocent oranges. Um, again, it's plastic, I could clean around that. Um, but we have these little glass jars um, at home. And all you do, open that out. This jar's been steam cleaned. And then you're just gonna pour all that in. There should be a little bit left actually, which I'll do me for my lunch. And these will actually store in the fridge as well. So it'll keep it nice and cool for you. And again, just put your date on. This will get used up because my son loves these innocent orange drinks. And then that will just store in your fridge where you would normally put it anywhere. Um, and then that's just some left over for me for my lunch. If, you're, if you don't have them, these are a good way. You can use these flasks as well. As well. They're a good way of storing any liquids. Uh, next, packs of beetroot. We could clean that and we could uh, store it in our fridge. I have these lovely glass jars that I love. Uh, they're easy to spill. Plus, if you opened that, they, they're going to go off quite quickly. Um, so, if you open them out, pour them in there, pop a lid on, put the date on, and again, they could just go straight into your fridge. So, they're a good way of storing food. These are actually old um, coffee jars, so if you know anybody that drinks coffee out of these jars, tell them to save them and then you've got a great jar to store any food. Um, these little nut bars, protein bars, this one's a date and peak and one. Again, just open them up and you can put them 
in there or you can just get some baking paper wrap it around and again they can be stored like that um cottage cheese again it's another tub that can uh, be cleaned i like these because they're easy accessible these are um oh, where did i get these from now i can't remember oh pampered chef they're from pampered chef and again, all I would do is open it up because this will go, I will use that in probably one, one, one and a half servings uh, with a jacket potato. So that I'll empty and put in there, put the lid on and put the date on and then that's a really good one for me storing my cottage cheese there. Um, porridge oats, which are a big, uh, we use these a lot at home, it's a big staple breakfast and we add fruit to that in fact i've got some fruit dehydrating there at the moment some bananas which we do add to that so that's another top tip do not throw any fruit away bananas apples things like that they can all dehydrate they can go in a jar and i've done a video on that um which i'll put the link on my youtube channel um and then you can just add them to your porridge on the morning and we well, have wasted anything now with these i would just slip the um opening there pour it into my pot, put the lid on, and again, I'm putting the date on, and what it is, and then that's another great way of storing your porridge. Tomatoes, um, they, they are all sealed, but I don't like keeping them with these because they don't last as long. So I would open that out and I would wash them, and washing them, we don't have to wash them in soapy water, just rinsing them through was absolutely fine. And then they get stored in here, um, and I just lay them out and sometimes I'll put um, a kitchen uh, towel in there and just empty them all out and into there and that's the same with any of these and I've done this on a video about how to make your, your watercress, spinach, anything like that last longer because if you leave it in these bags they tend to go a little bit soggy because of the moisture so if you empty it in a, a glass tub like that, don't put a cover on, just put another sheet of kitchen foil over the top. So empty that out, I'm not going to do it now because um, I'm going to do that later. Empty it out, pop it in there and then put some kitchen towel on the top as well just to help with any, any more of the moisture. Okay, next are these little um, milkshakes that my little boy loves, the protein ones. Again, we could clean these and put them in the fridge. I like to have these, I put a date on, open it out and then I pour the milk in there um, and then that either you can drink straight from that rather than drinking from that which I don't want him to do which he has done in the past and he got told off for that so yeah it'll go straight in there you can pop a straw in there if he wants to and it can be a lovely mil milkshake for him okay strawberries again uh, um, they want to come out of this um, and just be stored on the top they do not need to go in the fridge they're not in the fridge when we buy from the supermarket they don't need to be stored in the fridge at home so again, just prepare them, take them out of here. Um, I've got a glass jar here that I will just put them in. So I'll wash them, pop them in there. And again, I'm going to put a date on so that I know when they're good to go. And again, they can be dehydrated. So if you get to the second one and you've got half left, wash them, cut them up, put them on your dehydrator, which are really cheap to buy. Um, and then you can put them in your porridges as well or in yogurts or with ice cream or anything like that. It's great. Now with bread, um, we do go, we, we do love us bread here. We do try to have granary, a home meal, and I do have um, wheat free as well. So what I tend to do is um, split them and put them in the freezer. So I would take them out of this, and again, they can go in little bags like this. Um, individual, I'll put two in each one, and then they can be stored in the fridge, and then I can take them out, and they're, they're good to go, um, and, and I just freeze them. And another top tip, which I learned as a school mum from another school mum, if you've got bread left over, if you've got ham that's going to be going out of date, um, you can make sandwiches. So you can actually make a sandwich, cut it up, put it in a, a little sandwich bag and put it in the freezer. That's what I'm doing with this. So I've got some left over um, from today. So I've made up the sandwich and I'm going to put that on top. I'm going to slice it, put it in, and then it's going to go in one of these so that um, my son can have it at a later date when he's hungry and there's a little snack there for him. That goes for bagels as well. Again, they're in a packet. These are great to freeze as well. They're already cut, so we don't need to cut them. And again, cheapest chips these to get from the supermarket. 
um, Amazon. I'll, I'll put the link on where I got mine from Amazon because uh, the less time going to the supermarket, the better. And if you get them ordered from Amazon, again, just make sure that you wash them before you um, put any foods in them. And these are really a, a nice snack as well. And again, you can make these up um, ready to, to eat so they're not wasted. Or you can wrap them up in um, sheets of baking um, paper as well. Okay, I will put all the links on for all the products and where to go for the food standard agency if you want to do a little bit more reading about um, how to store your food. But if you are going to the supermarket, there's no point in them cleaning the holder as you go in because you've already touched it, okay? So just be mindful when you when you've done your shopping, use carry use a um, paper carrier bags. Um, be mindful that you're not because we need to protect each other as well. So make sure that you're not picking stuff up and putting it back on the shelf. Decide with your eyes what you're going to buy, then pick it up and put it down. All the prices there, we don't need to be picking things up and looking at them. So just be mindful. We're, you know we're a community and we're trying to protect everyone. And then give your hands a good wash when you get home and prepare your food. Um, as I've shown today, and um, we won't have any problems. You're going to be cooking your food, most of your food anyway, your meats. Um, so same goes for your mints uh, as well. Take them out of the packages, separate them up, label them, um, and then you know, because at the moment we are probably storing a little bit more than we normally would in the freezers. So if we label things up, you know, label what it's got on, the date that it's going to expire, and um, then we can be a bit more prepared when we are um, cooking family family meals. Hope that's really useful. If, you, if there's anything else that you want me to talk about, just put it in the comments below um, and I'll try and do my best on my days off um, to try and get some information over to you. All right then. Thanks a lot. Bye.